now family here we are again in the heavily cut room of abe yehua with this powerful message already titled for you and me right at petua <laughs> and the mofi awoha idahosa and iyori paris of one are worthy of death part two so family case i share this in the news feed and you haven't listened to part one only go into just that we, we have up to 0.7 okay we established two already like i said I'm afraid that it shouldn't spread to part three because we still have long way to go, you know, a whole five points. So let me see if I will be able. If not, then we we, we are headed to part three. All right, now you heard from the title already. Let's see to part one in order to understand this very uh, part two. So, right away, we are going to uh, the third points. So, the first point goes like this like the title at the Murphy. Oha Idahosa Iyori uh, uh, one of Paris, a uh, worthy of death. Now, the question is, why are they worthy of death? Point one, they abuse their spiritual authority. And point two, anyone that insults or disobeys others pay with their own blood. 
So one, we, 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 have, we have already done that at part one. So right now we are going straight away to point three. And the Murphy Iori have no right to judge Oba of a two. No, that, that is your calling. No, in fact, this really is going to be example for every one of you that is misusing and calling people and blaming people for what they have no power to do or for what they cannot do. You don't have no right to judge this very Oba of a do who gave you the mouth. Who are you? What qualification do you have to sit because you want to take bribe? Because you are fighting for your own stomach. You're not beginning to extend that madness way to the very power you should it, you should it have. You should it have because this is not in your power to do. You should have just seen that they begin to fight for your prostitute over there, okay? Begin to fight. You are not the fighter. I bet you, Edimofi, this Edimofi, you are calling the most time for battle, okay? Because I heard one nonsense he said that uh, uh, Oba Bini heard your cry. So that was why he brings out those uh, uh, um, idols and, uh, and free. What? What cry? Who? Huh? This man. It is the time of our deliverance. Just shut up your mouth. It is the time of freedom. Shut up your mouth. You have a cry. Your cry was out crying for your own belly. Not that you love the people because you were still taking bribe from them, taking 200 if they, they guess if they called you, you know, for you to treat their mother, their, their, their mother, or whatever. They need to give you, they need to pay us you some said 200, some said 250. I hear from them. And after they are giving you that, their mother's number, you will treat their mother to, 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 if you, if she don't want to go to the prison, you know, to go to the authority, you will treat it there that they need to pay you so, 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 I'm some say 8,005. And some say a thousand. So you will just make it profit for your own belly. Excuse me, Mr. Deadman. All right, now, like I said, it's not personal. Mm -hmm. it is, this is not personal at all. It is not sensational. Rather, it is by the royal law objective. So here we are. Now, let's do the point three. I personally, I don't have nothing against you, but you break the authority. Therefore, I will never be a part of your causes. Anyone that supports this evil. You see that grave, you're already there. So many is going to and follows you. He said, What unto that one that will see light? You begin to call it darkness. You will say truth. You will say it's a lie. The only way I will be a part of your causes will be when I begin to support you. Really? Okay. I, I, I don't think I have to mention her name. One of my lovely baby. Okay. She was the one who even sent me this case. I was there aware because I'm too busy to, for my own, you know, career and not even this madness you people is doing on Facebook. Only for your belly's sake. She even sent me the video. Well, I said, no, this man went too far. I need to plead for mercy. She is my, she, she's going to be uh, uh, my witness. I said, I need to pray. I need to plead for mercy because this is a covenant with death. As I was about to do when I got home that day, as I was about to do, I heard this voice very clear and I said, don't. He is guilty. He is guilty. Then I stopped. Then I begin to reveal things. And man is going down the grave with it. His lover. Because what you say, say anyone that supported this is going along with him. The way a Demophi be now, the way a Demophi really, you know, what should they even greet him? If you don't want to be a part of it, you should run away from his lay. What you say coming from this way, you just pass the other way. Because it's a cost property. Those, those Demophi give death, that, that grave. He carries it now everywhere he goes. He's just with, waiting for the power of manifestation. Because it's guilt. A few way is guilt. It's guilt. A thing you know you did. And when I listen to that is when I say when I listen to I say I, I say Abba you are thank you because then I should have been, you know, supporting wickedness. You said all this. You call Oba destroyer. You call say Oba is the one destroying Benin. You said Oba takes pride. You call you call him all kinds of names. You say he support the evil doers. Oba did not you know, take care of the hospital. Children. Oba is using government uh, Benin money, whatever, to be building houses. Oba maintain his place. Oh, call. What is your problem? Are you not also doing the same? All right now. 
not by feelings or emotion, okay? Let's go by the royal law objective. So that I, I shouldn't be speaking my word. Right now, what was the point? Three. And the Murphy Iori have no right to judge Oba of Bini, okay? So I want to see how you don't have no right. What you do is falling upon your own head as well. Matthew chapter 7, 1 to 5. Let's take it the way it is. Judge not that ye be not judged. Did you get that? For, uh, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye me uh, meant, it shall be mentioned to you again. Listen now. And why beholdest uh, thou the mote that is in thy brother's eyes? But consider not the bam that is in thy own eyes. Look at his, who is judging somebody. Look at the Jezebel, the Yuri. That one hurt my stomach. You married to two men. The white man is there, the black man is there. You dead judge? No, are you not good? Of course you are. Of course you are, which is of Edom. That is who you are for as Jezebel. Hey, Murphy. Oh no, you that have sexual inter with your own twin brother's wife? You that have erection before your own sister in law? You did do that? And you did not even do it secretly. You did not begin to broadcast it, even in social media. When I heard of it, I said, No. First time, I consider you a dead man. I said, No, this man is polluting a do. This man has just defied me. What have I heard? You said I put, oh no. you said her vagina is wrinkled. You said her vagina is so noisome. You said your wife's vagina is even sweeter than that of your brother's own. You have you forgot this the sun does your own eye. You say nobody is taking bribe. You say nobody is whatever, whatever. You said about is, is destroyed, Bini. What about you? What you did, the sexual intercourse you had with your own twin brothers, why do you know the causes you brought to it, do? Do you know the wrath you brought to it, do? Do you know the pollution you brought to it, do? Do you know the bad luck? Do you know what it is? Oh, no. Verses 4. Oh, uh, how would thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the moat out of thy eyes, and behold, a bell is in thy own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out thy sonders out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou see glory to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eyes. You did not repent. That should have been your repentance. You didn't repent, because if you repent, you don't even have the guts to say it out. Like all these abalis, all these ritualists, excuse me, that goes to abalis, abalis, abalis would let them know what they do and what not, not to do. Go and have sexual intercourse with a mad woman. We see, of course, a mad woman got pregnant by a man. And those is being done uh, uh, for, uh, by ritualists, okay? Have you ever heard it one day from there, then I came out publicly and began to voice it out? No, it's been done secretly. Why? Because it's not something to be proud of. Because it is a very disgraceful thing. Because it is an abomination okay you did your own you never hide it in your filthiness and you never bury it in your belly you not came out so proud of iniquity you not begin to proud of it you will be proud of it and you not begin to go to that extent you not begin to describe that how vagina how rico it was how noisome it was how bitter it is oh no oh no you are guilt we put some more. First of all, take the sun dust in your eyes. So what could that be? So you should have stopped taking bribe from everyone. You should have repented genuinely. All oh, this is your worldly song. You should, should have been heard at all. You should have been bringing a Bible. You should have been quoting, Thou said Yehovah. You should have been revealing the holy things of a big Yehovah. And then men will not begin to say, Oh, this brother has changed. Something, power of heaven has already descended on him. Then if you want to also talk to Oba, you will even do it in a very respectful way. You will even do it by fasting and prayer. You will even do it in line according to the royal law. If you are beset, we see here who cannot join the battles was being sent by Abba. He was being beheaded. Fine, it's good to die for what is good. No, you know, you are going to die for trash. You are going to die like a chicken. You are dying for your iniquity. Here who cannot join the battles die for righteousness, for speaking the truth.
You are saying, hey, hey, ni tayo agbebe yo. Hey, ni tayo agbebe yo. Because when you buy traffic, he has his tihihi. How much have you made through that? How much? Why are you collecting money from the poor girls? And why are you also taking money from the mother? You know you did it. Foundation builder. Only for your belly, excuse me, okay? Listen now, how you have been already been condemned. Because say in the same judgment you judge others, you, you, you will be judged, okay? Listen now. I'm doing it from the royal law. I don't take no bribe from nobody. I don't. There was a guy in Germany also sent me, said they want to send tithing. When I said no money, I still speak the truth to tithe. I also said that this, my sister, when she listens to the video, she's going to be, you know, understand what I'm saying. Tithing is not money. What it goes by money, tithing is just food. And it's been done once in three years. Uh, the only thing you can say you, you, you would do for others should be love offering. That you can find in Atto Apostle to chapter 4, okay, 20, uh, 32, wait down to the end. Love offering, okay? And I said, okay, he called it love offering, want to send it. And I said, no, brother, by his grace, I have my daily bread. Can you send it to somebody in Italy, okay, that is really having a tough time to feed? He did send it to the very person in Italy. So what did this brother did? He not blocked me, he deleted me. He said, because I refuse what he wanted to say but i have my daily bread love offering is being given to the poor it's been given to the needy i don't that is why my mouth is so open like trumpets because i'm not afraid of nobody because i don't get no income i will never i'm not expecting absolute nothing from nobody my ministration is to follow her the will of her being. What my ministr ministration is to come out of her, my people, and just to the royal of the way it is do bible this bible that is just my ministration do it Bible way. If you listen to, if you listen to my message, you know that's what I'm doing. So I'm not afraid to speak. In order for you not to say <laughs> if you are getting support income from people, therefore you're gonna be telling them what their inch inches ears wants to hear. You will be afraid, you, you will just be afraid to speak the truth in order for them not to cut off your resources because they are they are your survivor. Listen now, you speak. Yeah, who are you? Are, you are, you are also be condemned because you are doing what you accuse someone of. You did it. You are a thief. You are the one that is destroying people. You destroy your, your your brothers, your twin brothers life. You destroy people's life. You speak arrogantly against your own spiritual leader, the Oba of Edo. You are worthy of death. You and Yuri, Yuri is not exempted either. John chapter eight. You can read it from one. To 11, I'm taking it from 3 to 11. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had sight her in the midst, they said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. And Moshe in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what said thou? This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Yehoshua stepped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he had done not. Seven. So when they uh, uh, continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without what I see among you, let him first cast a stone at her. What did they do? Sens sensible people. And I said, me, myself, I'm also in equity now. Let me walk up. Edna. And again, he stepped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it begin uh, convinced, listener, being, excuse me, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by what one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the least. And Yehoshua was lifted, left, left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. And, Yehosh and when Yehoshua had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are thy accuser? Where are those? Where are those thy accuser? Had no any man condemned thee? She said, No, ma, I do not. And Yehoshua said unto her, Neither do I. Condemn thee, go and sin no more. So, do you have sin in your hand? So, what is sin? Sin simply means breaking the royal law. Should I also read that for you? Did you break the royal law? Empty man. Listen now. First John chapter 3, verses 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgress also the law. For sin is the transgressor 
of the law. Did you get that? Why did the Pharisees humble themselves? They said this is why. Because the law says, when you caught this booth in this wicked as sexual immorality, like what you did, you should stone there. The first person that saw it first, just pick up a stone and stone. The others will follow it until both is being killed by stoning and leave them not. Yahushua, the, the biblical Messiah, don't have the right to do it because he was never the one who saw them. The one that saw them first according to the law, he is the one that needs to first of all cast the first stone. That is what the law said. So Yahushua wasn't there. So he has no right to cast the first stone because he didn't, he didn't say with his own eye because they said they caught her in the very heart. So Yahushua now said, that was all he was worth. He called the law for them and said, come, you Sadducees and Pharisees. Is there anything in your hand? Have you not seen? If you know you did not sin, cast the first stone so they, they break the law. Because for you to let the man go, you break the law. For you not to first of all release the first stone on her, you break the law. Both did the wicked act. Why did you leave the man to go? Is he a member of your family? Is he your son? Is he your brother? Or is he among one of your Pharisees or one of your Sadducees? Why did you let him go? Hey, bro, only the woman is only the woman doing it to herself alone. You at the muffin, you are also doing the same. You know who you are. You are guilt. You have seen you break the law. And you then sit in your cover and begin to raise your voice against a higher power above you, eternal. You are worthy of death. If you know what you did, you shouldn't even drive your filthy man to that palace at all. And the Murphy and Yuri listen now to what the Lord said. Because Yuri is also married to two men. I don't understand that. One, one white man, one black man. <laughs> Where, does, where, where, where do we see that from the royal law? Nobody to justify that at all. Polyandry? Polyandry? You are turning the royal law upside down? All right, now this goes to Eddie Murphy. Leviticus uh, 18, 16. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy brother's wife. It, it is thy brother's nakedness. Let's move on. It is your brother's nakedness. You did not just uncover it. You also uncovered that woman vagina to the whole world. To hear or to know how wrinkled, uh, wrinkled her vagina is. And how noisome. <laughs> At the moment you are a gunner, eh? They will have messing upon my ear. That listen to that video. So here we are now. Leviticus 20. Uh, 20 to 22 or so. And if a man shall lie with his uncle's wife, he hath uncovered his uncle's nakedness. They shall bear their sin. They shall die childless. Did you get that? This causes, this causes, it is from the third to the fourth generation of you. You have five children. If your wife is, is understood what, what you have already, the mess you are putting yourself, she should begin to cry to the most high now. Because four will go along. Four will go along. That is the fourth generation. The first is the first generation. Fourth. Four will follow you. He should know what he's go going to be a generational causes. If you know, he say you're going to die childless. Okay now. When you do it to your uncle's wife. Let's hear your own. 21. And if a man shall take his brother's wife. It is an unclean thing. You pollute the oil I do. You see, sir, it is unclean. He hath uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall both childless. Ye shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgment and do them that, that the land where I bring you to dwell therein spew you not out. He said, if you don't keep it, it's going to spew you out because you commit sin against the land. So the land said it cannot harbor you no more. He said it cannot endure you no more. He said it cannot accommodate you no more. He said it's going to spew you out. That is the great that dug for you. They already dig for you. And you yourself now in, in conjunction, in agreement with him and say you, you will enter. Okay, you, you are going. And not just you, they say you're going to die childless. Do you know what that is? The causes from you now will spread to the fourth generation. And if your wife knows what is good for her, she should better run now to the most high in genuine repentance in order for the children to be spared. If not, the four will go along with you. From the fifth generation, deliverance will come. Okay, now. <laughs> Matthew 5. 72, it is said, think not. This is the biblical Messiah speak. He said, think not that I've come to abolish the law. Mm -mm. Not at all. Not to abolish the prophets. He said, no way. Until when? Until heaven 
and the earth is no more. Heaven and the earth is... Do you see, see, see the first heaven? Do you see, see the first earth? If you see, see there, then you are under this course. So now, what are they doing? First heaven and the first earth. You can read all oh, Deuteronomy 20, uh, 30. I'm reading only the verses 90. So what are they doing? Where we just quoted, okay? Matthew 5. 72 to 18, they said, you shouldn't even dare to think that I've come to abolish the law, nor the prophets. Not even one jot of the law will by no means pass away. Until when? Until the heaven and the earth is no more. What are they doing? What, did they, what is the heaven and the earth doing? Here I am, Deuteronomy 30, 19. I call heaven and earth to witness these days and guess you that I have said before you life and death, blessing and cursing, fear for choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. So what are they doing? They are bearing witnesses for the royal law that you break it. When you keep it, they will bear record this for you in a good one that you keep. But when you break it, he will bear record against you that you are a law breaker. You are lawless. That's why you also go and break the higher power law against you. The higher power is higher above you. You also wait now and speak against him. So you are a law breaker, you and Yuri. Okay? The first heaven and the first earth, they are buried law they are very witnesses for the law revelation 21 it said then i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth is no more so they are finished their job until then did you see the new heaven and the new earth the royal law can't at apostle 24 24 apostle shahu that most people is used to cover up their wickedness the one you couple said i believe the law and all the prophets i believe and i kept all their rules he kept the law it was a La Nazarite, okay? It was a Naz uh, uh, Nazarite, okay? He carried the dreadlocks. It was under the covenant and the law of Nazarite. You can see that out of Apostle again. You can also see that again in our, wait, 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 Numbers chapter 6 or so. I think so. All uh, through, we see Apostle Shehu right in the act of Apostle. He kept the Shabbat. He kept the feast. He kept it all. He keep quoting law. He, quick, he keep quoting the prophet. He keep quoting everyone. Say, I believe. Okay. So, the law can't. You are doomed. Hmm? Further scripture in this point. Matthew 15, 13. Law breakers. This one. This is a very bad woman. Bad one, more God, the women that I'm hearing their noise on Facebook. This one is the most wicked one. Consulted the spirit of the death upon our people. Nonsense. Matthew 15, 13. But he answered and said, every, every plant, excuse me, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. You are about to be rooted out, okay? Let them alone. May, uh, let them alone. They be blind. Leaders of the blind, listen now. I take it again. Fourteen. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Who are you leading? You are leading the blind, Yuri. Just as you are blind, you you are also leading the blind. And where are you all gonna fall? And if the blind leads the blind, both shall fall into the pits. Do you say you? Do you see your end because you are blind? If you are not blind, can you be consulted the spirit of the death? A demon, you are blind. If you are not blind, can you be speaking against the power that is higher above you? You be afraid. You say you be afraid. That was why you took the oath. You say you be afraid. That was why you say you will, you will swear if you ever you know throw your filthy mouth to pan for the panda. You, you know you did. You knew you did it. So you are a blind guy. You are a blind leader, okay? <laughs> and you meet your hand already, okay? And you see the pit that you fall on it. You see the pit they dug for you. You are already in it. Because you are blind. Eh? You, a blind leader is also leading people. Where are you leading them to? The one you are leading, the one that is supporting you, you are all going to the grave. That grave you swore. You are all going down the grave. Okay? Because you are a blind leader. All of it is going to fall in it. So it's leading someone. You have not yet first of all discipline yourself you know talk to yourself you know rebuke yourself be real and be true to yourself you haven't done that you just can't I, i'm whatever must stop uh, what, what they call and uh, human trafficking must stop meanwhile your belly is full your belly is fully loaded with bribe nonsense you are lady you yourself you are blind you are guiding you yourself. You are you are you are guiding your own soul into destruction. See this one that is guiding. 
<laughs> she can't even guide her own soul. Re ba 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 hu se kaya ba yo. Re ma santa la bo se ke. Look at leaders. Oh no. So we scroll down to point four. I hope I will be okay. So point four goes this way. And the Murphy and Yuri made agreement with the dead. Yes, oh my Yuri. She is in invoking the spirit of the death. Where did you see that? This woman, I have never ever seen the royal law from her hand. I have never seen her read the Bible. She only, you know what is a Bible? Uko Kogo. Oh no, people are so dumb in this manner. Oh. Uko Kogo. And the picture, the, 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 the pictures of the dead. Idiani Jesigi. Idiani Boho. Emota no Kawaba. To that extent, they now begin to reveal themselves to people. Oh no, you you are lady people. Oh no, oh no, you hurt my stomach. But you will be you already been judged because it is your turn. After the month feet goes down the grave, it will be you. You are the one to follow. And Abba Yahweh is going to use both of you to teach others how to respect a higher authority. All right now. So what was the point? Uh, the mafia and the Yuri made agreement. With the grave, the dead. When I'm saying the grave, the dead, because the Murphy went to go and lay his two eyes right inside the grave. He even drank water. No, this man is horrible. He's so horrible, self deceiver. When you knew you throw your filthy men to the palace, you went and drank that water. You said, No, Zola, woge. as you are also bent down, as Zola should bend down. You said, uh, The last should kill you. How, how, how? Oh no, that is scary, very fearful. Eh? When I listen to your confession, eh? I was, no. No, 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 no. Okay, please let me. Oh, 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 <laughs> All right now, so. Uh -huh. So, you made an agreement with the grave back to the system, okay? Somebody was trying to interrupt. All right now, verses 2. Amos chapter 3, verses 2. Listen, oh no, verses 3, not 2. Can two walk together? I said they, I said they be agreed. So you are agreed already with the grave. Like you are also agreed with the grave. That is why she's bringing picture of dead people. That is why she's walking with the death. That is why she's invoking the power of the death. That is why she's even teaching people to be praying to the death. He said they should pray to it. Eh? These people, they are so horrible. So horrified. You are so disgusting. I can't, I don't know. You invoking death. Okay. Back to Edimofo, Edimofi. You see, I said you can't work together except you agree. You see what you did that day, November 3rd, you agree with the grave. You agree to enter the grave. Nothing's going to bring you out. If you agree, who am I to say you did not? No. Life and death is in the power of tongue. As soon as you declare it upon yourself, you are a goner. No way out for your own. The same with the Yuri. All that is going to learn from your mistakes. Okay? All right, now here we are, Isaiah 28:15. So these are the gods of Iyuri, okay? This is the God. When Iyuri is saying you should be praying to the God of Iyuri, not necessarily she is speaking of the most time. She knew who is our God. Only you are a fool. That is why you are unable to see who is our God. He said by the Afrin, you shall know that. How can you be bringing out the spirit of the dead? How can you have been bringing out... How can you be saying someone should be praying to a mother? Someone should be praying to Idenokboho. Someone should be praying to uh, Idian Yesige. How can you be? How can you be doing that? How can you be invoking? Oh no, connecting people with the dead? No, you don't do that. We are coming into your your madness, okay? Now Isaiah eighteen, excuse me, twenty eight fifteen. Listen, I the Murphy, this thing it goes it goes for the both of you, because ye have said we have made a covenant with death. That is what you did, November 3rd. You agreed to enter the grave, okay? And with hell, you are going down to the link of fire. So hell is, is, a, is a, a, a waiting time. And the link of fire, it is the final destination. And with hell, are we at agreements? <laughs> when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge. And under falsehood have we hide ourselves, Yuri. Under falsehood, you are hiding the people of the book. Because I know some of the people of the book is in your is 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 in your is in your cover over there. That place you sat is that is cover, witchcraft cover. 
where you are flying daylight. What your babava? <laughs> Invoking the death upon people, lying everywhere. Eh? Put the testimony together. Okay, salt and water. <laughs> eh? You dare call yourself evangelist? All right now, at the Murphy. After you have done that, you agree with Ogubu, the king of death. That is Abadu. Okay. You now said, you're going to wash it away. You're going to cry out for people to do what? To do you what? No, you did it already. You agree. It's, it's, the scourge is almost out here. The scourge is on its way for you to put you there. Reality. You already there. Your spirit is there. It's only manifestation. The visible. The visible things is manifest is speaking unto us the invisible. You enter already. The invisible is already done. It is the visible now. So let's see the death which you agree or you have a covenant with. Revelation 9 11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Okay. Whose name is in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue had his name Apollon. Okay, what is Abaddon? The angel of death. That's the one you make agreement with. In Greek, what is it be called? Apollon. What does that mean? The, the destroyer. So when you go to the Exodus, yes, Exodus uh, 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 12, 27, you're going to see the destroyer there. It destroyed every firstborn of the Egyptians. And that is the one you make uh, made agreement with. He, he had no mercy. He's the king of death. When he comes, he takes you along. Because you have this agreement already with him. Just like Yore, she has agreement also with the dead. That's why she's invoking them for people. So let's say the king of Ogilwu. King of death you agree with. Revelation 6, 7 to 8. Revelation chapter 6, verses, 6, uh, verses 7 to 8. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth uh, beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pair horse, and his name that sat on him was what? Death. And hell followed with him. And power was given unto him. Over the, okay. Power is already been given to Gugu, eh? To slay you. Is about to do that to smite you. Okay? He's about to give it to you because you called for him. You knew you did it. You knew you are guilty. Why can't you just come and play and say, love for No, 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 no. You won't be forgiven because I saw we are river. So I saw Gile, you be good. Yes, because you are good. You pollute a dust light. After you have defied your brother's own bed, your own twin brother, birth into this world one day, in one womb from one seed. After you have done this wickedness unto him, instead of you to really, you know, reflect in a sober reflection and say, what have I done? Why have I done this? A whip, a whip secretly and cry for mercy. You did not end it over there. You not came to broadcast it to us. To me. The ear used to, you know, hear your, you talking. I was pleading mercy over my ear. Pleading the blood of you. I said, this is filthy. This is really serpentine voice. You get erection before your brother's wife and you penetrate. And you now also have the heart to reflect a vagina. How noisy, noisome it was and how wrinkled. Just to disgrace your brother. Oh no. So Genesis 3, you will see, is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The very one you join with. You know, all those uh, Amazon whatever, uh, all those, uh, what, what do they call Zolo or whatever? They are wood and stone. That is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's the angel of the. He said, The day you touch that tree, you shall surely die. Not maybe. You touched and you drank from their water and you are great and said it, so shall it be. After that, you now also run to eat. This man, you have no shame. Anyway, you know you are a goner already. I pity the people that is weeping for you because they are coming along with you. You don't cry for wicked animal. When a wicked animal is being done, it will not get out of the way, killed mysteriously. Just bless heaven for removing that filthiness out of the land. The land must be cleansed, okay? All right. So the wood and stone you have a covenant with. You see, what is the tree? It is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It is the very serpent, the high-ranking angel in heaven. Okay, Isaiah chapter 6, make that one so clear that they stood above, in fact, they had the covering of Abiyewa in the seventh 
heaven. All right, that is the one you agree with the folly ones, okay? Is the serpent, okay? Is the one, okay? The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That is the wood you swell. You make a covenant with. Now also see the stone. Because I saw stone, I saw wood. Mm -hmm. All right, here I am. Romans chapter 9, verses 33. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stubbly stone, a rock of offense. And whosoever believeth on him, you see the stone is a him, is a him, shall not be ashamed. Whosoever, it is Messiah, is the chief cornerstone. Mm -hmm. All right, now what, we, are, we are still proving the stone. You see what the wood is already? Is a folly deity. And we also have a holy wood, the tree of life. Okay, you can also find that again in Genesis chapter 2. But the one you, you lay on, they are folly, they are already in the ground. So you now also join them below the earth. First Peter chapter 2, 4 to 8. I read 4. For whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed or rejected indeed of men, but chosen of Jehovah and precious. Yea, also, listen, we are also a stone. Yea, also, as, as living stones are built up a spiritual house, as holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable unto Yehuah by Yahushua Hamashiach. Wherefore also it is uh, continued in the uh, scripture, contained, excuse me, in the scripture, behold, I lay in Zion a chief corner stool, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him, him again, okay, shall not be confounded. It is a date, okay? But you, lay, you, you, you agree with the folly one. Hmm? Out of Apostle chapter 4, uh, verses 10 to 12, you will see the stone again over there, speaking of the biblical Messiah. So right now, you as a worldly man, you have again, your, that is why I'm so concerned. You are not born again, okay? You are unbelievers, so you should have submit to your authority. So the one, the following one is your authority. You are great and you are abused. So you submit to him already, okay? You make a covenant with him and he had no mercy. Okay, he had no mercy. It's gonna it's gonna squash you. Now, Isaiah 5, verses 40. Let's see what, what is awaiting you. Alright, here we are. Alright. Therefore, her at a last herself and opened her mouth without mention, and they and their glory and their multitude and their power, and he that rejoice uh, rejoice uh, rejoice shall descend into it. Just as you descend, we see it already. You can also see Revelation 21 to 15. Because you already descended to it, you uh, will be thrown now into the link of it. That is the final state of you. Because there is no repentance in the grave. You are guilty, you are guilty. Or if you are guilty in the first, you know, uh, uh, in, uh, in the first, you are guilty in all. No redemption over there, okay? Quickly, point five. Very short scriptures. And I'm glad that it's short. Ah, <laughs> point five goes this way. And the Murphy is a cursed thing is a cost property don't touch a cost property don't go down a cost property when it comes to you he's gonna use it to rob you because that is what he have right now because you see he, 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 enjoy, he, he, he has already you know had this covenant with cost and destruction with the grave is a cost property prior to this you can read joshua or chapter six okay in order for you to get a better understanding i won't be able to do that so after you have done that you can spread over to chapter seven then you're going to see how a cost thing and the morphe how is it being caused when he enter your house is going to spread that cost on you so you don't allow him to come nigh you you don't support him okay you you you, you don't at all i wanted to pray for him i heard the voice i shouldn't his word is guilty of death is worthy of it he deserves it when abba your wife has already had enough of your wickedness he just get rid of it. He will push. In fact, it will allow something some, to just push you and meet your, 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 your destruction. Exactly what happens. So here I am, Joshua chapter 7. I'm taking from 13 to 15. Upon, okay, sanctify the people. Okay, okay. Where am I going to read? Okay. I take from 12. Therefore, the children of Yazra could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies because they were accost. Okay. Now that we... Uh, okay, neither will be okay. 
Oh, where am I? Because they were accursed. Because why? Someone has to, you know, that rebuked, rebuked Jericho. Stole the properties of Jericho. Jericho is a blockage to, to, to rest. Jericho is a blockage, you know, to your, to your glory, to your blessing, to your honor, okay? Jericho is a blockage. Therefore, the man of you want to let it cause. Anyone that is going to touch any property that has to do with Jericho, you will go down the grave. You are going to use your first burn, you know, to set up that Jericho. And you're going to use your last burn song, you know, to, to, you know, to put the gates. Right? So someone among us in the camp of Israel stole the property of, he took Jericho's property, a cost thing. Uh -huh. Read 7. All 7, you're going to see, he was being stunned and being roasted by fire. As soon as he was being caught, he used that madness to rob all the entire camp. Okay, so when you allow a demophy to enter your house, he's gonna use it to rob you all. And I saw the vision. A lot go in, I was even crying, a do fall, a do fall. A lot went down the grave with him. You shouldn't cry for this man. This is the nature of this segment. Run for him. He is a cursed property. Okay. All right, now listen, let me finish reading. Neither will I be with you anymore, except ye destroy the accursed from among you. Because there goes to battle the fail. Why? Because accursed properties in the midst. I bet you want to say, until you fish it out, the one that is being cursed, I, I go no more with you. I bless you no more. I, I, I deliver you no more. Eh? They're not sick diligently. Who did this? Who brought this destruction upon us as soon as they caught him? At the Murphy, you defy the whole pity. Now you are being caught. So one should run away from you. And when, you, when we find out the one that, that, you know, that stole the property, that took a cost in himself, that become a cost, we stole them to death. We set them ablaze in order for us to move on. That, is why we, that was why we move on in life. Hmm? What is heavier than this? When your son die, the most I will say, if you cry, I will kill you along. Here I am, Leviticus chapter 10, 1 to 2. And now B, now the B, excuse me. All right, I take it again. And Nadab and Abihu, the son of Aaron, took, uh, 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 took either of them his censor and put fire therein, and put a uh, censor thereon, and offer strange fire before Yehovah, which he commanded them not. Uh, the of you having sexual intercourse with your own brother, you cause strange fire. And they went out fire from Yehuwah and devoured them, and they died before Yehuwah. And but if you keep reading, in said, Their father, if you cry, I will also kill you. They are what I cost property. Hmm? So if a demophic, a demophic that I will never cry, rather I will celebrate heaven because iniquity is being wiped out of the earth. Now, says, follow up with part three. It's whatever you sow, that is what you are going to reap. So, family, I want to do the part three now. I bless you, Abba Yehovah, for you are awesome and you are powerful. Not like you, you alone ought to be feared. Hallelujah.